Welcome to the Supper Club, let me tell you. Oh, we hit an estate sale that was enormous. Oh, here you go, look at this. But first of all, the most important thing that I found was this decal here. Look at this. Very cool. Oh, this is part two. Man, the work day's over and it's time to escape. Man, that was a long day at work. Let's go into the corner of the garage. I cleaned out a space where we can escape to our childhood, to creativity, to the wildness of model making. This was the time and the place. And look at that price tag. You can't even barely buy anything for a buck anymore. We're in the garage. And we're rocking it tonight. Are you ready for part two? Here we do. American flag and soldiers. And look at this. For the many veterans, Vietnam veterans, the healing has not yet taken place. Help them through this through it by displaying this decal in a prominent place in your home or car. Oh, I don't know if this guy was a, a vet or not, but let me tell you, I thank all the vets that served in the armed forces, in the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, oh, doing their duty for this country. Thank you, guys. Oh, look at this. This is an Airfix Corsair 172nd scale. Pretty sweet little model. Oh, I don't. It's a model, man, and it's unopened. You gotta open it up and see what's in there. Ah, oh, this untouched. So cool. You got decals and instructions in there. Ah, oh, I'm telling you. There is something about military models. Man, when I was a kid, I went to, I think it was Al's Hobby Shop way north. And man, old Al had a big cigarette hanging out of his mouth and he had airplane models that just filled the ceiling. You could barely see the ceiling because he had so many built-ups just hanging from strings. It was the coolest thing ever. Ah, oh, here's the Grumman. T TBM3 Avenger. 172nd scale by Airfix. Simple. And I'm believing. You never know though. Sometimes with these kits, you gotta open them up. Now the instructions are on top, so you know this one was pulled all the way out. Oh, it is. It is a jumbled mess in there, but it looks like everything's still on the trees with a quick look. But sometimes uh, things are coming off and peeling off, so... Um, but you never know with all this stuff. Sometimes they put other kits in there, or double kits, or they put in resin, or photo etch, something in actual kit it might get a little extra surprise here's a Messerschmitt oh this one is rattle rattle <laughs> that it's all off look at this very cool this is another 172nd scale monogram now I don't know if you notice but no UPC code on this oh so this is an older kit I have no idea when some of these kits were being bought and oh it's not a Messer Schmidt at all <laughs> look at this I've got one tree and look at this he's already started in on painting these guys oh how cool is that we might have to pull these guys out Oh, look at this. Like I said, you never know what you're going to find when you get into a box of stuff. Oh, 
and always look for pieces and parts that fell off. Now at this sale, literally, I found a handful of parts on the floor that people were walking over. There was a, uh, a canopy for a, for a uh, airplane. There was some wheels, some other little parts. Oh, look at this. Very cool. Here's his little instructions, little plans on a tech. Instructions. <laughs> what a goofy goober I am. Oh, this is cool that he started it. I love it when people share their wealth, share their builds. It is so cool to see the talent and skill. Now this one, man, this this guy did really good. Look at that strap. There's no extra flippity flop on that. He must have had a good magnifying glass. Oh, look at this. Sneaking up. He's as cool as can be. Oh, loading up large caliber gun and should be locked onto the gun and it's already painted up ready to go he's going <laughs> he's going peekaboo <laughs> I'm cracking myself up here oh man oh man these are really very cool stuff. Oh, look at that caliber. That baby, he is not playing around. Well, here's a little, little uh, pilot. So this is all his figures. And I wonder if he remembered that the Messerschmitt box had all the figures in it. Now again, in those magazines, I bet I can find all the stuff that, um, how these guys are positioned and need to be put up. Oh, this is amazing. Very cool. And in the bottom of here, there's some pixels and axes, decals. All these little parts are very important to your build. Ah, oh, so cool. Let me rearrange, I'll be right back. Ah, oh, we're back. There we go to a Revell 1 to 70 second scale. Pencil, Pencil, HS1, 126A1. I am not an airplane guy, but oh man, my model club, they're all airplane guys. Look at this, all this information. Very cool stuff. Now see, this one has a UPC on it. It's all the colors you need. Deutsch, Netherlands, English, France, Spanish, Italian, Sylvania. Oh, they got a little bit of everything. Now this one is sealed. I'm not opening it. Made in Germany. Oh, very nice. Look at this, a Stuka. J87 Stuka G2. Very cool model. Oh, look at this. Look at all the details on there. Very nice. So much fun. 172nd scale. Again, no UPC on this baby. So 
know it's an older, older kit. Oh, look at this, brand new in the wrappings. This baby is not in English. <laughs> look at that, I'm an Einstein. Oh, very nice. Very simple uh, kit. Oh, what else do we got here? Revell Premium Import by Revell The Hinkle. Oh, I think we got some aftermarket parts for this one. Look at that. This one is still sealed in the box. Very nice. And again, this has no UPC on it. Now I don't know if that's just because it's an import or not. Revell 172nd scale junkers. Oh, I love a plane with pontoons on it. It is so cool. Here's all your paint colors that you need. So when you're looking at models, you can get all the paints at the same time. Level three. So this baby is serious building. Look at the back here. All the different kits you can get on there. Oh, I built a Huey helicopter. That's the last aircraft I built. Very cool. It was a mash kit. Airfix, Boeing, B-17G, Flying Fortress. Look at this beast. Oh, so cool 172nd scale you got oh kids don't look you got naked ladies on the plane oh. avert your eyes children look at this kit again very nice air fix there's your UPC let's see what's in this one it's open oh it looks pretty clean Instructions on the bottom. That is one big airplane. Once that's done. But again, these built up and hanging from the ceiling are in a diorama. That would be cool. Look at this airfix. Consolidated BPY 5A Catalina. Oh, Chuck Berry had a song, Catalina. That 172nd scale, just beautiful graphics on this, several languages, all not included, paints, there's your UPC, shows you how big it is in millimeters. 28 pieces I'm guessing by that little image another Hinkle looks like a different configuration 172nd scale there's crew figures torpedoes Now this has got to rattle around too in it. Let's see what's in here. Oh now see, look. Sandpaper. Now, it doesn't look like this kit was started, but there is sandpaper in here. Oh yeah, some wheels floating around here in the bottom. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you know what? I think those are pieces and parts I picked up off the floor. That's exactly what these are. Because you never know. There were some tiny little rings and turrets. You want to make sure you've got your, your decal sheet covered up by the plastic. The little protective piece. Probably put those pieces in with that other kit. I'm gonna do that. Get those all dumped out there. Put these all back in carefully with instructions on the bottom. Now, 
this little piece fell off and I know I didn't pick that one up off the floor so it belongs to this kit. That one I did pick up off the floor. Same color in there. Are you saying to your parents, I'm bored, I got nothing to do? If you're bored, have nothing to do, be it summer, spring, fall, or winter. Well, let me tell you, there's more than just riding your skateboard. Another place to go is Johnny Roman's Supper Club, where the excitement is fantastic. Become a subscriber so you don't miss out. Be a cool kid on the block. Here's all our pieces and parts we're going to put into that other box with all these figures once we put those away. So we'll keep them there. A Dornier Do 17Z. Never heard of it. Oh, please. Look at that. He's, he's futzing out a missile at him. Oh. Details on this kit. Rebel. UPC. All your information in different languages. So everyone can participate. This is a sealed kit. I'm not going to open it. Oh, it's on the back. Same as before. All the different variations in this series. Shows you different skill levels. Now, to my understanding, Ravel is all in Germany now. Nothing in America anymore. Oh, look at this. A fuck wolf. FW200C Condor. Oh, look at that. Great box art. Some details of the airplane once finished. Um, all the colors you need. This one is pretty sweet. Oh, look at all this. And pause this and read all that no matter what language you're in and that's good oh. again the same graphics on the back that makes the packaging easy scale models oh. again there's all your skill levels oh that's one set let's start into another pile of kits I'll be right back and this video is a gun. Oh, is this cool or what? I know you're sleeping, but I love it. I love it. Thanks for watching. We're going to get back to cards real soon. Oh, I had to take a little break to models and military. Love it. Thanks, guys. So cool on some of these kits. Just amazing. Rock on, my brothers and sisters. Thanks for coming into the supper club. It is 316.
I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!